today i am going to solve one numerical problem on venturi meter now here problem is given a horizontal venturi meter with inlet diameter 20 cm and throat diameter 10 cm is used to measure the flow of water the pressure at inlet is given that is 17.658 newton per centimeter square and the vacuum pressure at the throat is 30 centimeter of mercury find the discharge of water through venturi meter take cd discharge coefficient is equal to 0 0.98 now here is the venturi meter uh, the diagram i have given here so this is inlet so i am putting name one the diameter is given d1 that is 20 centimeter and pressure that is actually gauge pressure or gauge pressure is given p1 is equal to 17.658 newton per centimeter square and that at throat throat diameter is given so that is d2 10 centimeter at throat the pressure is 30 centimeter mercury uh, in vacuum and uh, also this section is a converging and this section is diverging now i am going to solve this problem now first we have to apply the Bernoulli's equation so applying Bernoulli's equation so what is Bernoulli's equation that is the p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 plus gz2 means if we apply that Bernoulli's equation point 0.1 and point 0.2 so this is the Bernoulli's equation so p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 plus gz2 now assumption here now as that venturi meter is a horizontal so we can consider z1 is equal to z2 now z1 and z2 will be cancelled out so now we will get that bundle equation is p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 so now apply continuity equation so we know so if we apply continuity equation point 0.1 and point 0.2 so that will be q is the discharge a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 as uh, the here that water is the working fluid means water is flowing through this venturi meter so he, here mass flow rate rho a1 v1 is equal to rho 2 uh, a2 v2 so rho 1 is equal to rho 2 so we can say that discharge q is equal to a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 now from here so we can easily calculate v1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 by a1 now we plug this v1 in that Bernoulli equation now after plugging that we will get p1 by rho plus a2 v2 by a1 square by 2 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 means here I am going to calculate velocity at the thro throat and we know the diameter so if we get the velocity and we can easily multiply it with the area of the throat and we will get the discharge and from that we can easily calculate mass flow rate uh, we can easily calculate so discharge we can calculate and then mass flow rate we can calculate now here p1 by rho plus a2 v2 by a1 whole square by 2 plus p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 now we take that uh, pressure term in the left hand side so p1 by rho minus p2 by rho is equal to v2 square by 2 minus a2 v2 by a1 by 2 by uh, a 2 v 2 by a 1 whole square by 2 now v 2 square by 2 if we take common so we will get 1 minus a 2 by a 1 square now so p 1 by rho plus uh, minus p 2 by rho is equal to v 2 square by 2 1 minus a 2 by a 1 square so we got that now here if we calculate v 2 square by 2 so p 1 by rho is equal to p 2 by rho that is 1 minus a 2 uh, by a1 square just orient or reorganize nothing else now here p1 is 17.658 newton per centimeter square uh, plus p atm so now we have to convert 17.658 newton per centimeter square to meter square so p1 is 17.658 into 10 to the power 4 means we know that 1 centimeter square is equal to 0 0.001 meter square so if we can convert so p1 is equal to 17.658 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square plus p atm means here p1 is absolute absolute pressure similarly what will be the p2 absolute pressure so that will be p atm minus vacuum pressure 
so vacuum pressure means negative pressure that is minus 30 centimeter hg so absolute will be obviously patm minus that um, obviously we can we call the vacuum pressure that is below atmospheric pressure so here uh, that p2 is given minus 30 centimeter hg so we can cal 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 calculate what will be the that absolute pressure so minus 30 by 100 into mercury density 13600 into 9.8 newton per meter square plus patm now we will get the absolute pressure at the uh, point 2 and we also know that diameter uh, uh, of the pipe d1 that is 20 centimeter we can convert in meter 20 by 100 and d2 we also know that third diameter 10 centimeter we can also convert uh, that in meter 10 by 100 now as diameter is given so we can easily calculate what will be the uh, what will be the area of the pipe or area of the uh, throat means cross sectional area of the pipe and cross sectional area of the throat so a1 is pi by 4 d1 square so we can calculate that and a2 also pi by 4 by d2 square so you get the value and rho that is that water is flowing through this venturimeter so rho is 1000 kg per meter cube now we have to plug all this value now if we plug this value so p1 by rho that is 17.65 into 10 to the power minus 4 plus p atm by 1000 and then p2 is minus uh, 400248 uh, 24.8 plus p atm and then we plug that a to a1 after plugging that and if we do the calculation okay then uh, we will get that v v2 is nothing but if we plug all this value okay so now we will get that v2 v2 is nothing but 21.4962 meter per seconds means in that at the throat the velocity of the water is 21.4962 meter per second as we know the velocity so we can easily calculate what will be the discharge so q is equal to a to v2 is equal to 0 0.007857 into 21.4962 now if we calculate uh, we will get that uh, discharge is 0.168896 meter cube per second so if we convert meter cube per second to liter so we have to multiply it with thousand so uh, here uh, that volumetric flow rate uh, through this venturi or uh, the throat uh, throat or venturi so that will be 168.896 liter per second so that is the answer for this problem that's it thank you